videos. Hopefully, you're not too scared by the fact that I've not done my hair or anything. Um, but what we're doing today is the water cooling loop on my rig. Um, basically, I'm going to try and do s sort of a tutorial kind of thing if it works that way. We'll see. Um, anyway, let's uh, go through the bits that I've got. Um, I've got all this stuff from Special Tech. Um, I was sort of undecided if I was going to buy one of their sort of complete sets with the fans, the radiator and everything else. Um, the one I was looking at was about uh, £140. Um, doing it this way it costs a little bit more. Um, I haven't got as much but I've got in my mind slightly better equipment and the sort of stuff that I wanted. So that's why I've gone that route. Um, who made the radiator? I can't remember who made the radiator but I've actually gone for a slightly deeper radiator than, than, what, than what comes with that kit. Um, I can't remember what it is exactly so I'll put that in the description. I've um, gone with the EK water block um, which I must say the box is very very fetching um, and would actually be perfect to use in the build um, but unfortunately I don't think it looks like the box which is a shame. Um, I went with a Lang um, water pump and XSPC PC reservoir to suit. Um, again sort of personal preference I didn't want a drive bay one um, that's just me um, it might come back and bite me ass in the ass because I'm not 100% sure on where I'm going to mount it because I got carried away and actually forgot there isn't really a mounting place for this but we'll see what we can do um, and I've got um, barbs but they're not uh, I was, again trying to keep the price down I was, didn't go with compression um, and the barbs are a, more of grey than a silver to try and keep the colours um, in there and we've got some Thermotech tubing um, again it's more of a budget tubing something I may upgrade later because I'm sure it's going to get stained with the uh, pastel coolant from um, Mayhem and it's the Gigabyte Orange obviously it had to be to go with the case and it's actually leaking a little bit but uh, I had a quick look in the bottle and it looks like orange juice um, which is exactly what Tiny Tom Logan said and uh, I'm just going to make sure I don't mistake it and drink it so what I'll do is um, I will start putting bits in and um, I'll show you when we're at a point that makes it worthwhile me showing you if that makes sense Okay guys, this is sort of stage one for me. Now this is literally my way of doing this. This is not gospel before anyone says, No, you're doing it the wrong order. Well, this is how I'm doing it. Um, obviously the original uh, heat sink and fan are off. Um, the block is unboxed to an extent. Um, I will be reading these. Very important, the instructions are in there. Um, I will be cleaning this up with an alcohol wipe and making sure it's perfectly clean for when the new block gets mounted. Um, and this is my sort of stage one thing, kind of. Yeah, stage one. For me, not for everybody. But this is the order I'm doing it and this is quite a small case to be working in so I want to get this in and set perfectly. So we'll see you in the next bit. Okay guys, um, I am going to be mounting the EK water block. Now, I can't stress this enough, read the instructions, every block is different. Um, and not every block comes with thermal compound, this didn't, hence the reason I have some. Very important, obviously. Um, and because my, I don't want to remove my motherboard, which is probably the easiest way to get the um, block on, is by removing the motherboard. Um, as soon as I lay this on its back, the screws are just going to fall out and I'll lose washers and everything. So I'm doing it this way because um, it's easiest for me. I suggest you do what is ever easiest for you. Um, I've fitted the barbs. Um, you don't want to over tight these, obviously. Um, so what I've done is hand tight. And then using wherever it is, a pair of pliers, a cup of tea. Look, got to have a cup of tea whilst doing this. Very important. Um, a pair of pliers and some socks. Um, just wrap the socks around or the cloth around, 
and nip them up a tiny bit not stupidly tight just a little bit tight um, gives you that little bit extra and obviously remove it before you put it on there guys okay I can't do this bit on camera it's just not going to be possible um, and also make if you've test if you've dry fitted everything you'll know what way you want it to go and I'm, you can see why I picked this water block for this build because it's sexy look at that it's going to look really snazzy when it's in there so in the next video hopefully it'll be in there okay guys this is just sort of like doubling the fact that you definitely need to read the instructions because I got carried away and automatically assumed that I knew what I was doing but I am um, it makes it a lot easier if you do read the instructions trust me um, so third all cleaned up I cleaned up uh, took the old thermal compound off, put the new on um, using the line method um, and then I spread it out um, that's the way I do it obviously you can do it however you feel see fit and um, the line method works really well it's from one corner to the other and then just I spread it out mainly because of the way this uh, you're going to be tightening the heat sink down I want even distribution also a good thing to remember is when you get your block whoop, um, check in the instructions to see if there is an any and an outy that sounds dirty but according to this instructions there is no any and there is no outy so it doesn't matter which way it's orientated so uh, I want to be putting it the way I like the design which is that way because it sort of looks like a mask um, and that's the way I want the pipe so that's the way I'm going to be fitting it um, I will be following the instructions and then we will see you in a bit and look how shiny it is. Oh, you can see the camera. You can't see me though. Mwah! Okay, guys. Right. The block is in. Um, how I do this is I sort of follow what the instructions say, but I also, from personal experience, um, once the block is on, tighten two opposite side, just finger tight, and then go counterclockwise, one turn. Keeping an eye on uh, the, the motherboard, make sure there is no twists or any strain being put on the motherboard. Um, you can buy optional back plates um, to distribute to the pressure slightly better. I didn't go for that option because in my mind I know what I'm doing. Um, but if you're not confident about doing this, make sure you get the back plate. It's a lot harder to break anything by using the back plate. Also, uh, as a point of reference, what I can do on this case, and you may not be able to see, um, and if you're doing this outside of the case, it's easier. Um, do a down reference or a cross reference on all the screws to make sure they're all at the same height, all the thumb, thumb screws that is. Um, if they're all at the same height, you know they're all doing um, equal pressure, which obviously is important, that it's e equally distributed. So um, hopefully that helps anybody that's ever been concerned about that but definitely go with the back plate if you uh, are uncomfortable about what you're doing here and remember at this point you can always um, tighten them down a little bit or back them off um, a bit later on if you need to one of the advantages um, with these blocks okay so let's get on to um, rad positioning and mounting uh, on the Zygmatech case it isn't really designed that well for water cooling really I mean it does have some nice big slots for hoses and there's obviously hoses on the back but where I want to mount it is under the quite thick shroud that goes around the top um, and the dust filter so that should hide the rad in theory so I, I measured it up using a rad, a friend's rad um, and it looked like it wouldn't be too much of a problem and then I went and got a slightly different rad, so now my holes don't line up. I think I will need to possibly do a few mods um, to get it spot on or not be able to use a full amount of screws. But it will still fit under the, the shroud that goes on top and the air filter. I hope, in theory. So, while we're mounting the fans, um, push on the inside so that we're going through the grill out through the rad and then through the uh, 
filter on the top. Um, I don't know how much it's going to restrict airflow. That will be something I'll have to test. I possibly will end up removing some of this just to stop restriction and airflow or upgrading the fans to um, some uh, air penetrators. Um, although they don't redo really the colours I wanted, I wanted to be able to use LED lit ones, but we'll see how much performance is affected by uh, restriction on airflow. So um, I'll mount this and then we'll carry on from there and hopefully it goes in alright because it's start I hopefully it will look quite good hidden away up there so we'll see okay guys the rad is finally in it took a bit of time there you go nice and mounted um, basically just had to move some holes so the um, can't really see that can you mm. uh, yeah well they're currently being held in by one two three Four, five, six screws because there's two I can't physically get to because of the um, I have to loosen that one off a bit, it's a bit tight um, I can't physically get to because of the motherboard but I'm not happy with the screws being silver anyway so I'm going to order some black ones so that I'll do that at a later date um, I've got the two Zegmatex fans in now for now to try um, the lid because I went with a slightly uh, thicker rad doesn't quite fit um, until I modify um, the way this this bit slides off um, I need to modify it so the way it sits is slightly higher and then it will be fine hopefully fingers crossed so next we will be mounting the res um, in the drive bays on the front with double-sided velcro stuff um, and I will do that next and we will catch up okay yeah, guys no uh, this is the front of the Zygmatek case uh, minus the drive covers the internal drive covers these ones they're all out um, mainly giving some room to work um, currently my solid state is here and it was sort of a feature here I liked it there um, I don't think I'm going to be able to obviously keep that because this is where the um, pump and um, reservoir are going to be seated so um, at the moment I'm not sure if we're going to mount it here on the side with the double sided sticky um, where it like it currently is now um, or around the back of the motherboard tray if I can find room because there's just so much um, yeah crap on the um, other side but I'll show you that a bit later um, so this is currently the pump reservoir I'm going to put them together and I will show you if I had any issues and uh, Okay, something um, worth mentioning about this particular kit, it requires you to have a Torx um, to remove the bottom of the pump. Um, it doesn't actually say that anywhere on the packaging or when you buy it. Um, and not everybody has Torx bits, so that's worth mentioning with this particular build. Uh, I'm quite lucky, I'll do a bit, quite a bit of uh, work on uh, cars, so I actually have a big selection of Torx bits. So. What I'll be doing is I'll be putting this back together again um, with barbs and because this is acrylic you don't want to be over tightening them at all. I've literally only done these just over hand tight so because this will crack very easy and then you are, um, what's the word, screwed, that's the one, screwed. Okay guys, um, pump res together, um, I'm going to say definitely with this rule of thumb um, tighten them up, um, I would say finger tight if you get what I mean, um, and then do a quarter turn on each with the screwdriver because they don't give you um, torque screws, the reservoir comes with its own screws because they will obviously need to be longer. Um, it doesn't need to be overly tightened because you can see, can you see the seal is in there, as long as you can tell the seal is compressed um, you, sh you shouldn't have any problems. Um, Again, when you're doing your leak check, this is the thing you're going to probably want to check like three times over. 100% make sure this is checked because it could weep. There might be weeping um, from anywhere and obviously you want to check that. So now we're going to actually get on to doing the main loop. Um, and I'm going to be going for neatness. I'm not going to be one of these really anal people that tries to get every last degree down on their loop. I would like a nice looking loop. 
Um, so we slide this round. Uh, I want a nice looking loop, um, and I want to be able to see quite a bit of the hosing because I want to make it sort of a feature with the um, orange coolant, and um, we're going to be getting um, some uh, diodes um, from Bit Phoenix to go across the top in white, um, and hopefully that will look good. So we're going to be doing the loop now, um, and we I will show you sort of halfway progress on that. Yeah, well. 